I, I feel like your name is thrown around so often in these like what if conversations. How does it make you feel knowing that like your WWE career is like a what if? Um, it's a good question. Um, I, you know, externally, I like, you know, everybody, I have no regrets and I, I am what I am today because of the things that happened to me. And, but I, but it, there is that part of me that I, I heard somebody yesterday said, if you could relive your best moment, if you could either relive your best moment or redo your worst moment, what would you mm. do? And I think I would redo my worst moments, you know? Um, yeah, there, there's a, and I guess what I'm able to do now with that is I, I can't change the past, obviously, right. but I can hopefully pass that information along to my, to my students, you know? Is, does winning the TNA championship twice, does that make you feel like you did reach the top of the mountain? But no, no, I, I think, you know, and that's nothing against TNA, but like, they just weren't the same. Yeah. You know? and it, yeah, it wasn't the same and, uh, but, but it's okay. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not crying my oatmeal about it. Like it is what it is. We got to move on. But yeah, it's there. I do have some regrets for is sure. There any point when you're making a name for yourself in TNA, when you're the, you know, when you're the guy in TNA, that WWE kind of goes, oh, oh, look what Kent's doing these days. Do you ever hear from them? I had heard, I had heard that from somebody in the office that Vince had said, I, I think I, he, he regretted pulling the trigger so quickly on, on firing me. Mm. And I probably should have like reached out at the time, but I had such a huge chip on my shoulder. I had a chip on my shoulder for years from, you know, the way that I left WWE. And, uh, and, you know, and today I, I will say, honestly, like that was all my fault. Like I'm, I am responsible. Nobody did anything to me. I did it to myself. So, um, you know, it was just the, the straw that broke the camel's back there at the end. Um, but that's that I heard that. And then uh, at some point I cut a promo and I remember Randy Orton texting me and saying, you know, like that was an awesome promo. And I believe he was being serious. I don't think he was being sarcastic, but. I feel like though but, it takes a lot of self-awareness now though, to be able to go, yeah, that, that was my fault. I did that because I can imagine at the time you didn't feel that way. Yeah, I definitely didn't want to take ownership for it at all. I, I wanted it to be somebody else's, you know, some, a bunch of people conspired against me to get me fired. You know, I, I should have never been in the position any, in the first place where other people could conspire against me at all. You know, like, right. I think it was just a matter of like, I kept saying things and doing things. And I really, to be honest, I sort of phoned it in for the last couple of years. I, I made it there and, and it, you know, I took my foot off the gas. I really did. 